What's up friends, this is Money and welcome to the ultimate trolling day. The ultimate Spectre Hurricane trolling day to be more precise. There goes one, there goes another one. Full way across the map, not just halfway. Here goes another one, pop! That's how we do it in the Hurricane Town. And even in short range, this weapon is able to defend itself. Knick, there goes a scorpion. Bye bye, dude. And even the crisis hiding in stealth over there, since he didn't move. Bye. <laughs> so this is a setup for today. 60% additional damage in stealth jump due to legendary pilot and ultimate version of Spectre with these hurricanes and additionally nuclear amps and the Pascal drone for maximum damage per kill. And while we're jumping up to ruin the day of some enemies, I'm so happy that I can finally again present you one of these. Intense PvE and PvP action gameplay with more than 800 awesome champions and tons of ways to customize your playstyle. Well, that sounds like an awesome mobile game to me. Let's go and check it out. Raid just added the biggest feature ever and the toughest content since the Doom Tower. The Cursed City of Sintranos, an epic PvE expansion with 100 stages to complete across 4 increasingly difficult districts to hunt down 3 Eclipse Keys to finally challenge Amius, the Archon, the end boss. What I like most about this is all players start at the same location and then pick their own way through the city chasing the rewards that they want most. And those rewards also include supersonic and merciless artifacts and special remnants that can be used to summon epic and mythical champions. And each month by the way the city will reset with new battle conditions and stages and new rewards to claim. Raid also has a holiday themed Christmas story event going for you to play mini games and win real life and in game prizes in. Visit RaidXmas.com like you see on screen and yoink every reward you can get your hands on together with me. There's a load of in-game items up to legendary champions and Amazon gift cards for real life prices so for us it's really worth to check in. Cause I just created our new Manny Gaming Army clan or short MGA. So far there aren't any members but that's where you guys come in. I'll accept your requests to join so don't wait any longer use my link down below as a new player or the QR code on screen and kickstart your game with two epic champions. Champion Lightsworn and once you hit level 15 the epic boss killer Juliana and then come find me in the game under the name Manny G and the clan MGA. <laughs> So here comes the first salvo raining in on the enemy on an Erebus dropping the entire shield plus almost the entire robot on top. <laughs> this next shot however unfortunately doesn't hit because he's actually hiding in cover but this is where the hurricane's awesome trajectory comes in because we can bypass that by making a smart jump and firing it from another direction. Just look how they aim in from the left angle now bypassing whatever cover he may have found over there and basically killing him. And you see there's a crisis and I know he's gonna shoot me so I'm waiting for the moment when he tries to drop his stealth. I activate my stealth jump immediately and even if he hadn't been hit before he would have died instantly from this many rockets because those hurricanes deal a tremendous amount of damage um, especially coming from four heavy over amplified ultimate specter shots right by the way later in this video i think in the third map on carrier we're gonna troll some newtons really hard because that's what you can do with these setups as well because you outrange the newtons by far right so you can stay away and just constantly hammer them with those rockets and they're gonna get so mad and if you know they're gonna get mad then you can make countermeasures against their attack and their choke by standing underneath a roof or something and that's what we're gonna do later all right so let's enjoy getting some more kills with these hurricanes. And by the way, the reason I said before, um, before the raid ad, that I'm glad I can finally do one again, you may have noticed that we didn't have one in a very long time, man. And I feel like I should explain this a little more for you because these ads actually keep this channel going. You may know that War Robots itself isn't running all that well right now and it makes it also more difficult for me to still find sponsors that are willing to sponsor this content here and help me out keep this channel going better, right? Um, and so I'm really happy and excited that Raid has re-sponsored us and that's also why I would really like you guys to try out the game and use the link down below because every install using this link is being tracked as a successful install and used as a verification as to whether or not they're gonna rebook me maybe next month, right? And uh, since this is really important, maybe you could give it a try and see if this game is maybe fun for you because I personally am really having fun logging in, doing some awesome AFK arena battles with her uh, with auto mode and try and figure out a nice strategy on how to beat uh, a stage 
And they also bring up all the always new stuff that is really interesting to try and compete against, even though sometimes I'm not even powerful enough with my champions to do that yet. I probably have to level them up first some more. Uh, but yeah, so I thought I'd mention it and ask for you guys' help and maybe, let's see, maybe I can produce another one for next month or so. I'd be happy anyways. Um, and I also, I hope, Correct me if I'm wrong, please, ladies and gents. I'm uh, here for your feedback too. Uh, I've Hopefully I've never spammed you with any of that, right? I've always tried to make it sporadically enough so that it's always a nice thing in between, but not getting out of control or really too much. Yeah, so let's keep going. And uh, <laughs> look at this guy, boop, and he's gone. He didn't, he, he had no chance other than literally sitting behind the building, not to try and get killed. And uh, that is something with the yellow sheet of Dagen maybe? It could be a Dagon, although I guess a Dagon would recharge the yellow shield faster. No, I think it's maybe an Erebus or a Typhon. I couldn't quite see it, uh, but <laughs> whatever it was, it's no more. Okay, so there's the first Titan. I think it's an uh, Muromets. Yep, Muromets. And look, we just did like 20% of damage to him because we jumped up in stealth using... Actually, wait, no, that was without the jump. We got lifted by a Newton. Yeah, we still have the ability ready. I'm not shooting the uh, Mugomets now because I know he's going to activate stealth as soon as I fire at him. So he would basically make all my shots worthless as soon as he starts pressing that ability button. Now I can hit him though. But uh, yeah, unfortunately I was not the only one having that idea. Everybody was waiting for him to uh, end his ability, drop his stealth. And by the way, I think it is a good uh, opportunity to say that the Muromet should really keep his stealth until he lands. I don't think the Muromet should lose his stealth uh, when he is uh, falling because he needs that stealth to stay alive. That's his defense system. System. If you leave him exposed in the open and drop it and take his stealth away, that's exactly what happens. He's just gonna get instantly sniped. So, in case Pixonic is seeing that, I really think it should be considered to give the Mugumets his stealth back until he lands and touches back on the ground. I think it's really important. By the way, here the Newtons are in the game and it's not just one, so I can do whatever I want. I used power cells for that, I used the battleship to stay alive, I, I used my stealth to stay alive, there's no chance. Um, they just lift you up and that's it. And uh, I'm in the uh, Raven, it's just a sneak peek of an upcoming video. Uh, and also it serves as a bit of a demonstration how stupid the gameplay is with the Newtons. Uh, there's nothing I can do here. I'm even using my stealth. I'm using battleships and power cells and everything just to try and stay alive a little uh, against these three Newtons. They're basically rotating their choke ability against me. I just, uh, it is really important that there is a resistance and a uh, immunity against choke. I've said it many times and I'm not going to rage anymore. I'm just going to say it again. We really need a long lasting immunity against choke after being choked. Otherwise the gameplay is literally over as soon as the Newtons are spawning in. Um, it may not have been a problem at first when there weren't too many Newtons, but now, now there are so many and you can simply no longer play the game. The gameplay is essentially over as soon as the Newton spawns and Pixonic knows that too. And I'm pretty sure they're already planning something. See what I'm doing here? I'm running into the wall, basically getting my weapon stuck on the building. You saw my the purple on my feet? That was me being choked. Thankfully, the choke didn't get me up on the building because I got myself stuck against the building, knowing that they will try that, right? And here I'm trying it again, but this time it didn't work. I didn't get myself stuck enough. And um, yeah, so I can still, you know, with using the legendary pilot on the Raven, stay stealthed often enough that every time they shoot, see, I activate stealth and they miss me, but it only goes for so long until, you know, all my... Uh, things are on cooldown and then lift again because for some reason that completely game breaking ability even has a short cooldown something like this should probably have a cooldown of a minute uh but uh no it doesn't anyways back in the next match ladies and gents this is gonna be an interesting one because people are actually gonna try and attack me in short range too and I'll, I'm gonna be able to defend myself not just against the one scorpion you've seen in the intro um and this right there is a shell robot and he's trying to escape. <laughs> uh, but he's noticed that, uh, or he has noticed that I'm focusing him um, with these hurricanes and there isn't really too much you can do about these weapons. Similar to Hydra, they're, so, they're always coming in from some kind of angle, um, but the hurricane even comes in from up top, sometimes bypassing physical shields such as the one from uh, the, um, the shell robot there. Oh, this guy was lucky, he almost died. 
And here we have the first enemy uh, closing in, short range, a Lynx robot with double redeemers. Um, I'm using my face shift to get through his stealth, and that's typically also when they lose interest against you. When you when you face shift against an attacker who is surrounded by enemies like that, then you face shift means he is going to focus something else because there's no point looking at you for four seconds while he could shoot something else, right? So that phase shift serves not just the purpose of temporarily giving you immunity, it also prevents the enemy from, from even being interested in you anymore. So, and then also, of course, reducing um, or deleting any uh, corrosion effects from your robot if there are any, even slowing fields and things like that are being dispelled or removed. Um, and the rust effect cannot be removed, uh, but it at least can be prevented to add more. So if you're getting shot by powerful rust effect weapons, you can face shift and prevent any further accumulation of those effects by simply being immune for a while. Um, I still think that rust effect should never prevent all healing. It should maybe make it a little less effective, not prevent it all the way. Uh, very important to look at that as well, because it's also a very game-breaking thing right now in the game. Um, and also, you should be able to get rid of it, like any effect with face shift. Like, I mean, what's the business with that, that you can somehow not get rid of the rust effect using face shift? Like, what the heck, right? It, it makes zero sense. Um, but, uh, yeah, things that are, have to be looked at. There's a lot of them, and I'm hoping Pixonic is doing that too. Now, everything above 400 meters, for those who have never used Hurricanes, Everything above 400 meters means you fire these rockets like we do right now in an arc towards the enemy. Uh, in a d d diabolic... Di uh, isn't that diabolish? No, that's like devil thing, right? It's something... To parabolic. Yeah, that's the word. In a parabolic. I mean, that's at least what we would say in Germany. Um, but uh, I'm assuming that uh, since often words come from a... Uh, old time that are also being used in other languages. Maybe you guys can do something and use this <laughs> this word as well <laughs> But yeah, that's uh, how it fires when you fire over 500 meters if something however is closer than 400 meters to you Then the weapon will will switch to a direct fire mode It will fire its rockets directly at the enemy at your level of altitude and it will still track the enemy and fire homing shots um, and that is also what allows the Hurricane to be an interesting new weapon to the game. Uh, not too many videos have been made with this, not too many gameplay I have seen um, with it, because it's, it's a relatively new weapon, it's not exactly damaging enough to be meta. Uh, at the same time, however, it is interestingly enough and up-to-date enough to actually work. Because you know what happens with Noricons, right? Still something that, while we're at it, um, needs to be reworked. Uh, hur hurricanes also need to be have an either a direct fire mode or simply lose this minimum range thing that you can fire it also at uh, enemies are a hundred meters away from you you fire them up why you shouldn't you should shoot them why shouldn't you be able to fire them up higher you know more nine ow <laughs> more 90 degree angle um, so that um, you, uh, you you basically shoot almost on yourself but hitting the guy who's closer to you right why shouldn't you able to do that? Because um, you can't deal damage to yourself in the game anyways, right? Um, but yeah, so something else to look at and bring back into the game. And not doing it via ultimate, just freaking make the weapon useful and work, please. Alright, um, but yeah, so direct fire here, very useful. And that's also a reason why this weapon is actually working in today's meta. Because it's up to date enough uh, to function in any condition. Uh, however, when something is really fast, those rockets will not hit. Um, a da we actually got the dag in here. Um, but uh, for example, uh, let's, let's say a Blitz robot in his ability running really fast in one direction, you're most likely not going to hit him. Because that's not how fast these rockets track. And see, we only did 2.4 million damage with that match. It wasn't a very long one, but um, still, 2.4 seems like a l very little amount of damage. And this is the match I've set in the beginning, ladies and gents, with uh, the Newton Titan uh, that we're going to troll. See, he only has 800 meters only, right? <laughs> on his choke and on his full Guatonans. Uh, but as, as long as we stay out of the 800 meters range, we can fire our tracking shots at him and constantly hammer him. And what you haven't seen is that I have done this already for the past three minutes. The reason he's low health is because, low health is because I've been doing this for the last three minutes straight. 
And, uh, <coughs> sorry, we're finally getting him down to low health to the point where he gets killed. And then there's another Newton Titan coming after that will focus and he's gonna try and focus me back, okay? Because that's what you do when you fire at enemies like this. You're gonna get them angry at some point. They're gonna get really upset with you because, you know, maybe they spawn in another robot and then comes your uh, rocket barrage and drops them. I don't know why I'm only getting assists, but because it seems like I'm... My damage comes in and they die. Somehow the game says it's only an assist. Maybe it's this assist bug that you guys have mentioned to me a few times that uh, especially in free for all can be really, really, really frustrating um, because this is the mode where you need to get the kills yourself. Uh, here I'm jumping up using stealth, uh, doing 60% more damage with this rocket barrage. Look at this, the Newton just lost like 20% or 15% from that attack. And you can tell now he's beginning to figure out where the damage comes from and he's beginning to, to put in countermeasures. So he's walking towards me. See, the distance is getting smaller and smaller because he's getting cl coming closer and closer. He wants to get in 800 meters range where he can finally lift me up and kill me. That is his plan. However, Carrier gives you this beam of um, steel above you. So he can try and lift me up, but uh, what only that the only thing that's gonna happen, I'm gonna fire to the side here. Uh, is that, okay, in this case, it would have actually worked, thankfully. No, wait, I used my stealth jump, sorry. I stealth jumped for extra damage, and now he's gonna try and take revenge. I'm firing to the left, and I'm staying under the beam, and it has it happens what has to happen. The guy focuses me out. He wants to get rid of me, finally, because I keep hitting him. I think I'm the reason he lost 50% health already, and he can't shoot me. He's gonna try and try and try every time, and I'm just gonna get back behind cover. Unfortunately, that constant counter suppression really annoys me here, preventing a lot of my damage output. Um, but the next salvo is going to do more damage. And maybe I should not use my stealth next time, but actually... Oh, oh, hold on. There's a... That's... Okay, that's a bit of a problem now. Uh, that uh, Lucha door to my left makes it a little difficult now. Okay, and again, being suppressed. Thankfully, I just got the battleship ready, so I can drop it in between and prevent the 300,000 damage from him that would kill me. Now, look at this lucky, lucky Newton. I just shoot him, and somehow, a random nuke, uh, uh, um, uh, here, uh, Afion jumps in between and blocks the shots with his shields. Then I'm getting hit by battleships too, at the same time, while being in short range against him. Let's see if we can drop him here. Oh, yes, we can! Nice! But there's another enemy coming in with a Lynx now. Apparently, <laughs> I've been causing enough trouble that enough enemies really wanted to see me dead here. Um, but yeah, let's jump into our uh, Eiffel Titan. This match seems like it's impossible for us to win it, uh, even with the full Gua Tonans uh, Eiffel. But we can probably drop that uh, Dagon. Yep, even his full shield would not prevent three Alpha and two Beta weapons from dropping him instantly. Um, the damage output on the ground is really marginal that we have here. It's not enough to really do something. Uh, but we can bypass some of the firepower by making quick dashes and then getting up in the air with extra damage output. Then I think he has lost his resistance. Yep, he's now walking. We're dropping in extra health from the battleship and hitting him one more time really hard. And then we're gonna land here on the wing of the ship. I've re read a comment of somebody asking what happens if you jump into these fans into the propellers, the engine, the, the props there um, from the uh, ship, uh, you die instantly. Similar to the ocean, as soon as you uh, touch these um, uh, fans, you'll die. So getting another kill here, ah, almost, almost getting another kill from an uh, Orokochi there. Uh, also dropping that Newton down to, well, only 70%. Why? Because counter suppression. Uh, but see, they have a problem here. I'm still trolling. I'm not in the Spectre anymore, but I'm still trolling the, the living heck out of these guys. So, let's see if we can drop that Newton finally. Okay. Fire, full firepower from all weapons and he's gone. Sweet! And I'm still here, man. <laughs> they, they can't get me. Because I'm constantly here safe behind this, uh, behind this wing. Only robots that can fly get me here. But yeah, so while we're trolling the last few shots out, Thank you guys for watching. Also, thank you so much for those of you who are going to try Raid Shadow Legends using my link below. Again, this helps me so much. Um, and uh, I would really be so happy if I could make another one of those uh, next month. Mm, with your help, 
that would be definitely possible. And uh, thank you for watching. Catch you in the next video. Manny signing off. Bye bye.